Hello, What's welcome. Going on? Welcome to another episode of the Aftermath podcast. Today we are your hosts. Uh, my name is Paolo, as you all know. And here in front of me, or in the other side of the neighborhood, he's literally like five minutes away from me. We got hey, Johnny don't reveal our location, bro. <laughs> no, no location. I'm just saying. Like, we got some crazy fans close. out there. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had like, a stock. There's like two. There's like two. <laughs> you what? No, nah, okay. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, uh, look, me and John, we uh, have been kind of binging a couple of series as well as movies. Um, yesterday, uh, what do we watch? That Lord of the Rings prequel. We watched uh, Rings of Power, the new Amazon Prime series, just said to be the most expensive TV show ever made, and yeah. that was sort of the promotion for it. <laughs> That's. One of the main reasons why I wanted to watch it. But, you know, Paolo, wh- what did it feel like for you as not like a huge Lord of the Rings fan, as a fan of the, not like a huge fan of yeah, the original yeah. trilogy? Look, just to set context, right? So my girlfriend's actually really into the Lord of the Rings franchise. So within a span of two <laughs> nights, two to three nights, she made me watch pretty much all the movies or just the Lord of the Rings, not like The Hobbit or anything like that. Yeah. Um yeah, like the the series that we watched, there was only two episodes. They're gonna be releasing releasing even more. I thought mm. initially it was very good, and I think I don't know if it's just because I was so overwhelmed with how good the CGI was. Uh, yeah. Fortunately enough, being able to watch it on the X ninety J Sony TV, it was like kind of an experience. Yeah. Like, really that's why cool. I want to watch it on yours, bro. Like. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I'm, keen, I'm keen to watch the next two I'll episodes blend this out. as well. <laughs> like it, it was it was good. It kind of brought me back to like the adventure kind of setting as well. And I liked uh what's the elf chick's name again? Dan Galadriel. 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 Yeah. Yeah, it, I just kind of I I myself I love a good revenge vengeance story. Uh, if you guys saw the Northman episode that we did earlier in the year, like yeah. I, I just get, I just get so caught up in that. Um, yeah. But you said that you may have an actual interesting take on this. How did you feel about the movie? I mean, the two episodes series. Last night you were you were pretty blown away from what I remember. I was, there's certain reasons why I was blown away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, the, it, the CGI. It there's there's clearly this this incredible like cgi there the artistry is on show and cinematography is great as well okay what's but lacking man? i I'm felt like hard. the second episode was quite boring the second like, one did you the second episode was really boring if you look back at it because we were just sitting there just staring at uh, the screen yeah. you know you know what i'm saying like there wasn't really interesting anything there, there was interesting a, going there was on. There's a lot of um politics going on between characters the, already in the yeah, second episode. Politics I think politics are great in like any TV show to show like the yeah. inner workings of any city. Like in Game of Thrones, for example, or House of Dragons, the politics there and the interplay and the interplay between every every high powered individual psyche and you see that interpersonal relationships. That's really cool to see. But in Rings of Power, it does not do that well. But Rings of Power has great, has some great instances of dialogue. It feels almost yeah. Shakespearean, even it's, though it's not yeah, like super the creative in the way they did it. Because you know, it's obviously all Tolkien. He actually said all the stuff, and right, right. It, it's good in that sense. But I felt like there was something missing from it, which was I, like you know what, it, you know what compared to the Lord of the Rings, where Lord yeah. of the Rings was had a lot of practical effects. I don't know how much of this was practically made, but the the, the scenes are like really cool. The image is really cool. Dialogue mm-hmm. is really cool. But there was something missing from it in the sense that it didn't feel as good as the Lord of the Rings for some reason for me. I don't know what it is. I Maybe th- I'll think, come to it later in the episode. Yeah. I, I think like face value, if you're looking at the Lord of the Rings, when yeah. we watch it as kids, we... I didn't read any books or anything like you just went in and you just watched it right here yeah. for the second episode. I think it's kind of more a tribute to like hardcore Lord of the Rings fans. Cause I'm sure there's like a lot of like details that's, that we probably missed. 
That's what I thought. And then I looked up online later this morning and what, all the Lord of the, the Rings reviews? fans are just... No, just not the reviews. I don't care about the reviews anymore, bro. It's all bullshit. I was talking yeah, about the actual... Yeah, just come straight to the of... Aftermath podcast. Reviews, you know? <laughs> yeah, the, the, you know, like this critical scores, it's all sort of politics again. It's like, yeah, yeah. oh, there's... there's, there's uh, uh, you know the chick who played the dwarf? Yes, yeah. Yeah, she went... She went uh, I think she got interviewed and she said she was the first female dwarf in the whole Lord of the Rings series. And I was like, did you not watch uh, Lord of the Rings 1, 2, 3, The Hobbit 1 and 2? There's so much female yeah. dwarfs in there. What are you saying? I don't know. I th- I think if one cast member doesn't even know the history of this film franchise or this book franchise and mm. she's here saying all this stuff, it it's kind of alarming because she doesn't know the backstory of these characters and stuff. So you know what I'm saying? And she is like, and she's playing the ancestors of these characters yeah. in Lord of the Rings later on. So you so would hope that like, she'd know the context. Yeah, of it she all. would know. It's like she didn't. It's she didn't like need to make ca- it political. It's you know? like being <laughs> casted for like the uh, like as a hero for the MCU universe, but thinking that it still ties in with DC or yeah. something like that. It's like you think Iron Man. There were. It's like you get a new rebooted Iron Man, and that person who's playing the rebooted Iron Man doesn't say, "Oh, Robert Downey Jr. played as Iron Man as well." You know what I'm saying? There was a lot of. There was a lot of. There was him before that. If if you know what I mean, like I'm trying to explain it best as I can here. Yeah. So, but I get you. So the, it's like it's like applying for a new job, right? And then, yeah. like, you know, in the interview process, you kind of don't know what the company is about. You didn't do your background yes, research that's first. Yes, Yeah. You know how you got to look at the, like, And she got hired. And stuff? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She, uh, and, I don't know. You know what I mean? And That's um, fair. That's fair. That kind of pissed me off because when I saw that interview. This is why I hate going to, going and watching interviews, bro. Because this shit just irks me, you know? Like, you see the personal opinions, and it just, like, ruins the character for me. Do you feel <laughs> like that interview actually tainted the overall, like, spectrum of... Not the not the overall thing. Not okay. the overall overall prequel. But I saw many comments from... This is proper Lord of the Rings fans. These are guys who read the books, who read everything, go into the whole lore. They can even speak the language and shit. Like, you know... The, hey, the elf yo. language. <laughs> it's yeah, crazy, yeah. bro. And, you know, there's, like, huge communities. It's sort of like Star Wars, you know? They have those huge yeah. communities there with each um each different alien race and shit. But anyway, yeah, and they were just, like, they really did not like this show. But I didn't really go into, like, because I'm not a Tolkien fan, so I don't understand what's the, uh, what specifically they didn't like. But they were talking about, like, how the elves looked, how this looked, how that looked. And how the Tolkien fans felt about the series. I think the overall opinion wasn't it's it wasn't too good because I'm not too sure because I'm not a Tolkien fan, so I wouldn't understand all the inner languages or like the the costumes, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But as a person coming in and just watched the original mm-hmm. series, the original Lord of the Rings series, I felt like it was good, but it is a TV show, so we'll have to wait for more episodes. Yeah. I think the first episode was yep. really good. Yep. And there was a lot of Tolkien fans who were saying, oh, they didn't like the way Galadriel was portrayed. I'm not too familiar with yeah, Galadriel as a character. That. In Lord she, of the Rings, she was mainly secondary she's anyway. She's what's like kind of keeping more about me in the series Frodo right now. And Sam's Sorry. journey. She, she's, yeah. Yeah, she was, she was, she was really good. She, her and Elrond was really good. I'm not too sure about the... I'm not too sure about who else is the fuck. There was there was a couple of characters they started introducing. Yeah, the the other elf character and the human character. Yeah. I guess they're part of the story only for the reason that they're the ones who are gonna show Galadriel or what she prophesized came true. Mm. I guess that's their purpose. But it was really cool to see the 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 relationship between the elves and the humans and the dwarves. Yeah. Because the elves are sort of seen as the oldest creatures yeah. on Middle Earth, I guess. And they sort of have this hierarchy of power, and you can see that. And this sort of very celestial, they're sort of like celestial yeah, godly and, key- and creatures. And everyone else kind say. of feels a certain way about them. They made that very evident yeah. in the movie. I think, yeah. But dude, that last, the first episode, that last scene where they get, 
I think I think it's like elf heaven or some shit. And they go uh-huh. into the heaven, and you see the yeah. light just complete, completely bathing all yeah. over them. I was like, wow, that was a beautiful scene. Dude, it was scene. so strong. I don't so care strong. if you're a Tolkien fan and you hate that shit. It was, you're wrong, it was bro. So that strong, shit was man. amazing. She, she rejected it. It was she good. She rejected it as well. <laughs> she rejected it. Oh, she, she had She rejected it because That's... she knew she had a responsibility. Yeah, yeah. No, no. She, she had a responsibility to her yeah, brother. yeah, yeah. Who sacrificed his life for the for the elf kingdom or whatever? Yeah, look, I'm sure look, there's for, different sex for American, a series, no, man. Like, I'm very impressed because, for example, I don't want to. Yeah, it's. I don't want to put on like the Kenobi series, for example. Like, hey yo, you can take a shit. No, on no, that no, any no, day, no. Hey yo, you gotta, you gotta finish that. You gotta finish that. <laughs> The Kenobi, Kenobi no, ass. No, the Kenobi series gets better exponentially. <laughs> the the overall height of it yeah. was all right. Nah. It took a yeah, <laughs> look, okay. But nah, this kidding, is kidding. like what I expected the what what yeah. I was hoping for like the Kenobi series to to be. If the Kenobi series what it is right now, if they could have just turned that into a movie and just like increased the budget for that movie, I would have just appreciated that more. But as yeah. a TV series okay. and like the quality of it at the moment, I'm just very like I'm pretty shook. I'm pretty impressed. So, yeah. They got the yeah. aftermath podcast it's, on the loop. We will be keeping up with this. Um, let's, yeah, yeah, we definitely be keeping up with this. I just, I just hope. Um, I really want to see them build up the rings of power, and that would be really cool mm-hmm. to see and see. I don't know. Uh, and I want to see like Gandalf and the other wizard. I forgot his name. I'm so sorry. I forgot his name. It's the guy who's guarding the high tower in the, the, Lord the of gray the hair films. dude. Um. Yeah, the gray haired dude. Um, Sol- yeah, yeah, Solomon. Yeah. It's not Sauron. It's not Sauron. I know it's not Sauron. But yeah, it was really cool. And the creature designs as well. I have to say, the creature designs are really yeah. cool as well. Especially the um the orcs and stuff. The orcs actually felt terrifying. Do you remember that scene where the kid was stuck? Yeah. The kid was stuck uh, inside the small cupboard, and the mom was just looking on, and she's like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, it was very like, and it's just it was very like horror, like it was very yeah, horror movie. Yeah. yeah, it was really cool, and I like that. That was very different. You know what I like the series? It it it. You know what they should do? They should, they should, they should pay respect to the old Peter Jackson trilogy, but don't look on it for for too much inspiration going forward. Maybe season two and stuff. Just create something so else. You pay know? homage is, to it, but don't is, use the same format, kind of thing. Yeah, don't, don't, don't go, don't go Force Awakens route. You know what I'm saying? Just copy, copy the same sort of fucking, <laughs> copy the same sort of style. Yeah. Copy this, copy that, and just put it a new set of paint on it. Nah, be creative. Go a completely different route. That's what I would say for season two. I'm sure, like, the more episodes Bro. go on, and we saw the way they do it. Direct, yeah, like yeah. the way the director handled the horror scenes. Yeah, yeah. that was very honestly, I reckon like, just like, chill, bro. It's that good, was very man. brand like, new. This is a quite like I had going into this <laughs> show, like, I had pretty low expectations. Yeah, you know what I mean. I I reckon if you're if you're like a regular Lord of the Rings um fan like me, who's not who hasn't read the books, who's just watched the TV, sh- uh, who's just watched the the series, grew up on the series, including the Hobbit mm-hmm. as well. I think this would be a great entry for you. And to be honest, the Lord of the Rings for me was never targeted for like an adult audience. It was always sort of like, you know, young adult audience sort yeah. of like that. And if you go into in into that thinking that way, yeah. it's great. And it it in no way is as good as House of Dragons. I'll just say that. <laughs> Look, I'm I'm not on I'm not even Lord of the on Rings. Game of Thrones. I'm gonna be honest, man. The 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 the, the, the rings you don't you don't need to watch Game of Thrones. You don't need to watch Game- House of Dragons is a prequel, just like Rings of Power. It is in no way as good as House of Dragons. Like not even twenty percent. Even though the budget of House of Dragons is way smaller than Rings of Power, okay. I would recommend if you're like our age, go watch House of Dragons. It is way better in terms of story, but the visuals in Rings of Power are incredible, and some of the some of the direction they take is really cool as well. Because House of House of Dragons, this is sort of like a competition. I feel like that's why they dropped the same sort of a month as um same sort of period as House of Dragons. Same, released. same time House of Dragons is on yeah, episode yeah, I get you, two. I get you. Yeah, same time frame. 
and House of Dragons episode one. I haven't even seen episode two. Episode one, you watch that, you're just like, what the hell? It's a classic Game of Thrones scene, you know? You just get, it's the okay. shock factor, but you can't take your let's, eyes away let's, from let's it. Let's save that. And there's, there's in- Bro, let's save that for another episode, fam. <laughs> yeah, let's save you're, it for another episode. You're getting too episode. It, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, House of Dragons, incredible. Go watch that shit. Rings of Power is good as we, well. We got to we gotta talk but, about yeah. the next movie. Me and you, we both watched. Jordan Peele's Oh no. Nope. I saw the I saw like the trailers for it and I was just like cuz I used to watch the Key and Peele show on like uh Comedy Central. Yeah. So I kind of like thought oh is this just going to be like a troll movie? In a sense it is a troll movie. Oh, you haven't watched Get Out? Yeah, oh, I mean yeah, I've watched Get you Out haven't of watched course. Get yeah. Out? Very very good movie and they yeah. use uh the same main actor in that as well. Uh Yeah. What's it Daniel Kaluuya? It is a very yeah, I think good it's Daniel Kaluuya. Well. Yeah. Yeah. He's in uh, Black Panther as well. Yeah, what's look? He plays the uh, he plays the farming tribe. Uh, Daniel, yeah, Daniel Kaluuya. Look, what was your Kaluuya, what was it, your right? reaction to the movie? Nope. I thought it was better than Ni- uh, the other movie he f- filmed, the Knives one, or the one with the scissors and stuff. Ah, uh, okay. You know the one where they have clones. Okay. No. Uh, I'll just I'll just get the movie right now. <laughs> yeah. uh, anyway, continue. Yeah, yeah. Jordan, did you did you like let it? Let me see. Let me see. What's what was the movie called? What was the movie called? Oh yeah, it's called Us. The movie before is way better. I really like. No, I think I think if you come into it as a horror movie, it is a horror movie, but it's more like sci fi horror. So you have to take it from the the lens of like watching Alien, mm. like James Cameron's Alien, or yeah. like. Uh, I think, yeah, I wouldn't compare it to Predator because Predator is more hands-on. This is more like, this is this felt like a Lovecraft Lovecraftian horror movie. That's what I would say. Mm-hmm. Very H.P. Lovecraft, like this uh, celestial or like this celestial alien body that's all-consuming and does, and is quite animalistic in that sense as well. It's very Lovecraftian, that's what I would say. Mm-hmm. And the creature design is really cool. Oh fuck! Uh, spoiler warning, by the oh, way, it's not a God. UFO. It's an actual, yeah. <laughs> it's an actual monster. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the creature design is really cool. And I thought the perspective of instead of being just like a by the books UFO movie, what if you make that UFO an actual creature? That's such a cool idea. Yeah. And it's only Jordan Peele who can do this shit. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And I have to say, the cinematography as well was really cool. It really brought back that Wild West sort of feeling as well. Mm. Especially in the scene where they go into the, I guess, the Wild West Museum. And they're, like, going around and they have those battles and stuff. And then you see, and then you see, um, what's the, what's the guy, the guy from Walking Dead, he's in it. What's his uh, name? Well, his name's Glenn in The Walking uh, Dead. Uh, otherwise, Stephen Young. Uh, Stephen Young, yeah. Stephen Young, he has, like, a showdown with the creature. Do you remember yeah, that scene? Because... Yeah, yeah, and then he realized he fucks he fucked yeah, up. Yeah, because um, he thought, what was the gorilla's name again? Uh, uh, God. damn it, it's not it's I not mean, a gorilla. Chimp, it's chimpanzee. a chimp. It's a chimp. Yeah, the chimp. Uh, I forgot Gordo, yeah. Gordo, right? Gordo. Uh, no, I want to get this right. Gordo, Zordo, Zordo, Gordo, Gordo. I'm pretty sure it's Gordo. Go- Gordy. So Gordy the Gordy, chimp. He Gordy, thought that yeah, because Gordy. he had like some special connection with Gordy. Or that he was able to yeah. not tame, but have yeah a relationship with a wild animal that he would be able to do the same with this UFO uh, kind of monster thing, right? And they Jeez. do so many flashbacks and like appropriately as well that builds up to that scene. If you watch that movie, yeah. it's super detailed. It's one of those movies I kind of want to watch again. And I'm usually not the type of guy to want to watch a movie straight after watching it. It's just, it's so detailed. Yeah. There are a lot of things that like um, kind of give away what's going to happen later in the movie. Like, for example, naming the horse that the chick could not um, take care of. Uh, Jean Jacket. Uh Ham, G, 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 um, yeah. Emerald, Emerald, that's yeah, that's Emerald that's couldn't, uh, Jacket, sorry. was supposed to train this horse that is named Jean Jacket, but never got the opportunity to. And I loved her relationship yeah. with the older brother, OJ, 
which I think is a double dude, entendre. It was for, the, the, know, OJ Simpson. Dude, what's what's her name? Kiki Palmer, Kiki right? Palmer, yeah. Kiki Palmer, that's who played. Yeah, dude, she was so yeah, good yeah, in this yeah. movie. Oh my god. I think she was the best character in this movie. And <laughs> and the the thing was like she was funny as hell as well. And then she had and she was always like she was like a classic this is what a teenager yeah, yeah. or like an adult that that I could but, see dude, myself it, in her like it she was very reminiscent so well with um Daniel's character OJ. I just love Dan- their relationship. It's just yeah, like OJ. a mutual understanding but like like Daniel or like OJ just felt like oh no, I have to carry this burden. Well, not burden but this responsibility of keeping yeah. this ranch afloat. And then I love this scene where they like getting hyped yeah. and just like high fiving each other and stuff, and he's just like full on serious. <laughs> uh, it was like nah, a proper I'll, Western dude, movie. He sacrificed dude, Kiki... himself at the end. Um, Who? Uh, OJ. Jordan. That nah, dude... he didn't. Okay, this is this is like kind of like a theory thing. Like you know how he appeared at the end with like something yonder or something, uh, just as they caught the photo for that UFO. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Do you yeah. think like he was actually like alive for that? Because dude, he really did sacrifice himself. That's why it was so emotional. No, what he was, what, what he was doing was he was chasing it yeah, out, yeah. and he was chasing it out to an area where she can capture the photograph, yeah. and then they can get the money for it. And he wasn't sacrificing himself. He actually put that. Um, you remember that? Um, the the confetti, the little. The flag, the flag was stuck inside the creature's yeah, um, yeah, yeah. stomach, and then they made him swallow the yep, balloon yep. as well, and that fucking like it exploded the creature. He's still alive, bro. He's still no, alive. No, no, I'm gonna send There's you no some links to some theories, man. I was looking at. I was. Okay, I was actually okay. send me send me some of the. We'll fan, talk about this in the other episode too, but I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised because Jordan Peele kind of does uh, kind of does this kind of shit in all his movies yeah. and stuff. You know, you have to. It, really it was just symbolic at it. the end. It was oh. just like really Western yeah. theme that kind of sacrifice. But why do you think yeah. like she became so emotional? Because she knew the like the outcome of his sacrifice. Like he wasn't gonna make it. You know, she. I I think from from my perspective, she was so emotional because she was so scared. And she was also running away link. from the creature as well. I'll send you the and, link. And she thought, and she thought her brother was definitely in danger. Right. That that's also another yeah. That's also a, I guess another bullet point you can add to her emotional yeah. state. And then she started taking the pictures and stuff, and it was sort of a release. But what I really liked about the movie was um, you could see the foreshadowing of uh, between Gordo, Gordy, and the yeah, creature yeah. as well. There's like a there's like, like definitely you know, like, a correlation, it was, and it just kind of showed like you can't yeah, tame definitely oh, even, correlation. Even with the horses, it man, was even instigate, with the horses. You can even correlate yeah, that to it. To it as yeah. well. I think I think the creature isn't actually a monster. You could say like you know when you think of monster, it's like evil personified. But this it's is just, not a monster. It's just an yeah, animal, just a, like wild, you know. Animal, and yeah. it's just acting to its instinct. Yeah, yeah, it's acting to its instinct, and the instinct is to survive and eat. And it's not. It's not eating the human beings, just because it wants to eat them. You see, Stephen Young actually instigated it into coming to the, coming into the ranch, and then yeah. it it eats everyone. From bro, that scene from was a business from a business bro. perspective, Holy right? Shit. Stephen Young's character. I'm thinking like, look how. How can he keep a? How can he afford to buy all these horses, um, and just to feed it on like what, like a weekly basis? Would you say or something like that? Yeah. And and I'm just uh, like, is yeah. he using the money from the people that paid to see the actual feasting of the horse? I guess. I don't know. No, nah, no, nah, he's he he get. I know he, he got like he he obviously had successful, but. Dude, he's just he's just like buying and selling horses, and he's got a pretty famous like amusement park or some shit, and he's got the TV show. He's no, no, telling no, I, you, right? I understand that, how but I'm just the like Swedish couple gave him fifty k. I'm, just I'm for... kind of more astonished at the fact that he's going out of his way to really like feeding this UFO, and yeah. for me, it's just like, oh, that's that's feeding crazy. Like, yeah, he really felt th- like he had a connection. I thought, with I thought for me, I I thought for me that was a way for him to 
reconnect with his trauma and that's why he had to face the creature i guess so because when when remember you know when he I was mean? like actually his family yeah. faced his family his family faced it as well he says oh his parents faced this creature as well because it's been there for yeah. ages because when he was explaining what actually that's happened what he on said. the day that gordy went like rampage and stuff he was like yeah yeah, he, he wasn't, like, out. explaining it in, like, a traumatic way. More so, like, yeah, this, like, actually happened. But yeah. if you look at the overlay of the flashbacks, it was, like, really fucked. Yeah. Yeah. And you see, and you see sort of, the film starts with, you know, his father dying. And then he goes to the production set. He yeah. goes on set. And you see sort of the same thing happen with yeah. the horse in terms of having yeah, that, the Yeah, that's why the I mirror. said there's like a correlation and, between you know, Gordy and then the actual correlation. Yeah. They just get started. They're, they're not yeah. supposed to be in these like studio Hollywood settings. You know what I mean? Settings and shit. For, uh, I feel like this this needs a video. No, no, no. Say. Honestly, there's like <laughs> layers to it. Because it surely. talks about like LA and it. then like how the UFO, how it eats people and just spits it out or shits out like anything that can't be properly digested. Oh, if you think about it that way. It's dude, like, that's like the film yeah, industry. Yeah, it's kind of a metaphor of. for that. So the UFO in sense is like, yeah, the film industry eats up these people and then just shits out like objects that it can't digest. Because there's like a lot of stories about Damn. people going to LA and then like, you know how there's like one hit wonders yeah. and stuff and you wonder like where they are now. Yeah. And then you see all the, um, the pedophile similar, rings, etc. Similar et to like the Hollywood all horses. If you are not relevant anymore, it would just spit you out and there's like yeah. no remorse oh, for that. That's all. Oh, that's very interesting. Yeah. Damn. You I, notice, I you notice, that. yeah, that's I, I noticed this as well. There's so much details, but like, you remember when the horse was in front of the green screen uh, at the start? Yeah. And I was just thinking like, yeah, oh, yeah, they yeah, have yeah, like kind of bows on the horse as well. And I'm just like, oh, dude, they're like doing this so they can get the CGI for it. So they can just keep doing yeah, it in the future. Yeah, they replaced yeah. the horse. And there's remember? this ongoing joke about like, they replaced oh, the horse yeah, it was, uh, you know, the horses were used in like Scorpion and shit. And how relevant was Scorpion? Like how how old is that movie? You know what I mean? Oh, and they're still true, having to that. hold on to Rock that. The, and it wasn't even a good movie. No, 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 it wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't even a good Dude, movie. The Rock used fucking camels and shit. They didn't even use like the horses, bro. That's <laughs> And he looked like he was from a PS2 or some yeah, shit, bro. Remember? Yeah. Hey, that the was, the was, so that was a game on that. Don't disrespect the game, bro. That that game. Dude, shit, that crazy. that's crazy. That's what I'm saying. Like, I want to oh, rewatch really this movie. Cool, yeah. It's super detailed and it's a good kind of reflection of the entertainment industry. I rewatch it when it comes out on streaming. I reckon. <laughs> <Of course. laughs> what yeah, do you yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the it's it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a fuck. I was. I need to go I watch was some so shook because I was just like, shit. dude, the UFO like it's not the traditional UFO where an alien comes down. It was just yeah. like eating them in this kind of abstract artsy way, and it was like yeah. it's just so different. It's it's definitely dude. He got this from H.P. Lovecraft, yeah. 100%. 100%. He got this creature sort of idea from H.P. Yeah. Lovecraft. It felt like some uh, Call of Cthulhu or some shit like that. And it's just like this ancient space yeah. creatures who are just there to survive and eat, you know? And I'm wondering, I would I would love to have a sequel to this, you know? Like to Nope. But I don't think he'll make one. No. But this is perfect for a sequel. Because what happens after this predator is gone? Surely there's another creature just like this around the universe or something. That's what I was thinking. Mm. And maybe they could dive deep into like Stephen Young's family, like how they dealt with I, the creature. I think they should they, do a movie they were living on with like, as well, the whole, right? like Gordy situation, man. Oh, Gordy yeah. as well. Oh, imagine that. What's, it starts all happy his, um, and shit towards his, the end. What's the company called? Like uh, Chimp Fist or something like that? Uh I don't know. Uh, so, hang on. Uh, I forgot like what their uh because nah don't worry about it. I'll I'll have to look into it. But yeah, that movie Too worry. That movie was very good. I like I liked all the characters in there as well. Um but I really yeah. liked I really liked OJ and Emerald. They were they were both of them were like my favorite characters, yeah. yeah. I liked Emerald. Emerald was my favorite. You know what was cool about Emerald? 
she didn't feel like a super woke character. She just felt like a normal, like you know, actual yeah, person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like very, you know like kind of down to earth. And it wasn't. And like, it wasn't yeah, yeah. yeah. And this is how you should be fucking making cactus Hollywood. Jesus Christ. Anyway, that's another thing. <laughs> the song, dude. She, I think she was. She is probably my favorite character in the whole movie. Maybe my top five characters this whole year. I kind of like the the yeah, actual horse. Definitely, the, definitely. I liked her personality. I like the horse. Oh, lu- no, G-jacket. lucky. Like just kind of what they meant. Lucky, lucky. Like, oh. At the start of the movie, they talk about like, oh, look, yeah, we we name him Lucky for a reason. Like he's really lucky. And I think about it, and he was out uh with jean jacket just floating on top and he didn't get eaten or anything you know what i mean like he was actually the luckiest among all <laughs> horses just lucky because he sold the horse <laughs> but then he ended up uh and then like oj yeah. ended up getting him back you know what i mean because all the other horses yeah. were all eaten and stuff eaten and stuff and i think he had a special connection to lucky as yeah. well because he he tried to save save that horse yeah. as well right and he's putting his own life in risk it, it sort of reminded me of the man of steel movie <laughs> You know when the Jesus when he Christ, saves the dog, bro, let it go, man. Yeah, it was a good movie, John. Yes, very good movie. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> now you yes, know what I John. mean. Like he oh saves the dog God. in the middle of the tornado, but yeah, he doesn't yeah. go, and he doesn't save his father. I was like, what? yeah, but Superman like, has all these anyway, like you know powers and shit. Yeah. OJ is more uh, related. Snyder, OJ is like a Wex Snyder cowboy. Man. That was whack. Yo, that scene where they're like he's galloping across the yep. sand, and then you see the um the TMZ yeah, reporter bro. coming with the helmet. Do you remember? Dude, that shit was wild, yeah. bro. bro when, and I was when like, he just pulled out the camera what like Kanye it feels was a like. gun. When he he brought out yeah, those cameras like it was a gun, I was just like, man, this is the world we're in, man. That's shook. I'm shook. Yeah, and do, did you see his? It, how he had like maybe there's more to it than we see like there could be like a deeper meaning yeah. to it because he sees out of one eye and he's just like looking at yeah. it and he's he's just concerned obviously over the social media likes and and him getting the money for getting the footage of the what happened to the um what's it called what happened to the ranch mm. next to him because steven young's ranch just I wonder if but anyway like looking directly into the ufo or not looking directly into the UFO, if it actually like meant something, if there's like a message, like looking directly into the entertainment industry, it would just like swallow you up. But if you choose not to look at it, I wonder what that means. Oh, uh, it's, it's too true. deep. We can shit. I didn't even see that. I was just like, oh, he's he's a predator. Yeah, you never yeah, look into just, a predator. You never dude, look into animals. Movie, I, I was just thinking. That's insane. And I'm That's just pretty like, cool. This like I was just like like shock value. I was like, oh, this is a good movie. And then I was just thinking about it, and I was just like. Now this movie's actually kind of deep, man. Like, what's going on? And then I read the theory. Yeah. It's it's deep. That's what I mean. Like, people people are coming out of this way, and they're just like, eh, it's it's just like it's not as good as uh, Get Out. I'm just like, bro, I you s- don't have to compare saw... everything to Get Out. Get Out is like a completely different yeah, genre yeah. of film. Like, it's not I, sci-fi I saw, horror. Um, this is like I saw the really Stephen cool. Curry trailer for it. And when I saw Steph Curry in the trailer yeah. and on, he was like promoting the movie, I was just like, oh man, this is going to be kind of corny. Like, I don't know. But I did, I did like his work <laughs> in um, Get Out. So I knew it was, I was going to like it. Steph Curry, it, what it was, was he doing in? He, what was he, he wasn't he doing in the in actual show? movie. He was, I think he was just promoting it, but he was in the actual like trailer for it. Or like, I think it was the teaser. So oh. I was just like, oh, okay. Oh, I, I, similar to the Lord of the Rings prequel, like, I just yeah. went in with like not that high expectations, and I was quite happy with yeah. it afterwards. I I went in with pretty high okay. expectations, and I was still happy. So look, okay, <laughs> yeah, because I watched Get Out. I was yeah. like, yo, well, this shit's insane. I watched uh, Us. It was it was pretty good. I don't know that, why there's mm. a lot of hate. And then I watched Nope. I think I like Nope more than Get Out. Con- hot take. <laughs> I like no more than Get Out because for me, Get Out, um, even though it's about a study on people of yeah. color, and as yeah. being a person of color, I still didn't as much as understand it as I get you. much yeah. as I like No because I felt like No had a lot of ideas that I sort of vibe with, sort of like sci-fi, old western movies, 
And you know, like I like that I kind of direction. It was pretty cool to I, see. I like I a hundred percent agree with you. I don't use because a lot of people use how rewatchable is the movie as kind of a metric to determine how good a movie is. I don't like to go by that. Yeah, but to be true, honest, true. Yeah, yeah, I'm more willing I go by to that. <laughs> rewatch. No, nope. I found no nope just way nope, more interesting. More than get out. And like there was just I wouldn't. There are layers in this movie, but I just feel like this movie is one of those that are just so detailed. Bullet Train, for example, I feel like there's a detail. lot of layers. This movie, there's just like a lot of details um, that pinpoint to different of details, time though. frames of the actual movie. And that was like, I thought, true, not to sound true. like a year 11 English essay, but that was like masterful, I feel, you know. The gray in the creature's body design represented the character's traumatic experience with the creature of war <laughs> in the first half of the two. That's five marks first half half one, of the movie. One and such symbolizing and metaphorically saying that this is a result of his trauma and it has come back to haunt him. Hey. Shit. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> is that a ring? <laughs> no, I get it, get it, get it. Okay, but anyway, if yeah. If we're talking. Um, we already at you know the. What, you know yeah, let's. We already are like. Let's leave being, it at this. Honestly, yeah. I think this we'll is like a solid episode already. Or did you want to continue? Because. Yeah. I don't think I can. Now, let, we, we will say what we're doing the next okay. episode. Um, I'll be talking about this really cool found footage Taiwanese movie. It's called Incantation. Incantation. Yep. And we, I'm just going to briefly yep. cover that. How about you, Paolo? You had a, another yes, TV series uh, like look, Korean. Also got me again on the whole Korean swag after watching uh, Singles Inferno. There's this show on Netflix called Change yeah. Days. I thought it was going to be similar to Singles Inferno, but it's, yeah, it's, it's this Korean kind of reality show called Change Days. Just to talk about it real quick. It's just like, yeah. so four couples, they enter this kind of uh, Airbnb situation and they basically date each other. So couple one male will date couple three female and they will go on dates. And it's really just talks about relationship. No, 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 not, not like that. This is <laughs> no, no. Koreans. Well, I was are just like, lot... you know, no, catching no, my finger. No, I was just catching my finger. No. Koreans are a lot more conservative when it comes to this type of stuff. And it's quite wholesome as well. It's, it's hard to get into at first, but it's honestly really good. Oh, uh, it's, it's good. It's good. It's pretty good. Yeah. That's all I gotta say. We'll talk about it next week. But King, I, King. I want to I want to tell Oaks. So it's this. a reality, it's a reality yeah. show. It's a dating show, is it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Alrighty. Cool, cool. Yeah, I think that's guys, about, that's all we have today, guys. So tune in next episode. Yes, for and some be scary sure shit. to like yeah, and some reality like TV this show. video as well as the um streaming service you may be listening to this if you're on podcast, right? Um be sure to follow us or on YouTube. Subscribe. Yes, subscribe on YouTube. Be sure to follow us on, on our all our subscribe. socials, Instagram as well. We will be posting like reels on this. Um, but yeah, thanks for thanks for listening. Really appreciate it. Thank you. We out. See you later.